All right, guys, so we're doing a quick install video right now. Uh, this is a 2015 F350 Super Duty Lariat, and we're gonna be replacing the turn signals, fog lights, and the actual headlight, okay? So we're gonna be, not the headlight, but the actual, like, the main beam, which is an H13. We're gonna be using our LS H13 bulbs, and they're gonna be the T-Series uh, 3157 standard bulbs in amber on the turn signals, and then we're gonna be using our H10s for the fog lights as well, okay? So let's get this done real quick. Uh, normally when we work on this, we remove the whole grill in the front, but unfortunately since this customer has uh, aftermarket light bars, he actually put the bottom one right on top of the clips and we don't have that type of uh, socket to remove these, to remove the actual light bar, okay? So that's keeping us from actually removing the whole uh, grill. But as you can see, once you remove the four 10 millimeter screws that go up here on top of the grill, your, your grill would just hang like this. Just have someone help you so like that. It, there's not too much weight on it and it breaks because it is being held by like about five tabs down here. So have someone help you out. Keep this from falling and bending too much. But it should give you enough space to actually reach what's, uh, two, there's gonna be two 10 millimeters right here hidden, okay? So I've actually removed them already. I'm gonna pull the headlight out just so I can show you better, okay? All right, guys, so we got the headlight already out. And as you can see, this is where the, the two screws will be, okay? There'll be one, two, and then there will be one more up here. There'll be three. And then one down here. I don't know if you can see that. There'll be the fourth one right there, okay? So if you're looking at your headlight like this, there'll be two here on the side. will be one, two, three. And then the top one is gonna be the fourth one, okay? So just carefully, this, there's enough space for it to slide in and out, as you can see. So just take your time, don't rush it. And at this point, your top bulb is gonna be your turn signal, which we already installed in here. Again, this is the T3157s in amber, and these are the non-hyperflash bulbs, a standard socket. Do not use the CK models because it will not work. On the bottom is your H13, your halogen bulb. We're gonna replace this with the LS H13s, okay? Uh, if you're interested in replacing your side marker, is this one right here on the side. It's actually a T10. We're gonna remove that real quick. That one right there but a uh, customer doesn't want to replace these. So we're just gonna be replacing the ones I mentioned earlier, which is gonna be the actual H13, turn signal and fog light, okay? And fog light, pretty much, let me just remove this quickly. I don't know why I put it right in there. Put that in there, take this off again, put it to the side. While you're here, you can pretty much reach your fog light. It's down here, let's see if the camera can reach it. You can see right there, you see that red, red bluish plug right there that's actually the bulb itself so let me actually turn that real quick I don't know if the camera can reach that but you can reach it from here you'll feel it you're gonna push this clip see if I can pull it up real quick that's the plug I already disconnected it okay so all it is when this is plugged try to put your finger between here and lift it and at the same time push down and it should pop out and then your bulb is literally right here which I already took out, but it will be literally right here, okay? You can also go through the back of the wheel well cover and you can reach it there. And you can see the hole, you see my finger? It's right there, okay? So the bulb will go right here. So you just twist it, pull it out, and we put in the new one and put out, okay? So you can reach it from up here or from pretty much snake your hand through around the bottom right here. You can snake your hand through here and you'll reach the fog light as well, okay? So real quick, guys, we're gonna finish installing everything and show you the final results. All right, guys, so the adapter on our bulbs on the H13s, they're removable, so we just twist them off and it comes off. So what you wanna do to make your life easier, match the tabs to this, but also you want to match this groove right here. There's actually a different, uh, how do they call that, like another passage for the bulb to actually lock into place. So when you install this, you wanna make sure it's, it's like that, okay? So where it's gonna stop is gonna keep the bolt position in a nine and three o'clock position, okay? So just real quick to demonstrate. Okay, so once it's locked, you can see the inside it's like another set of keys in here, okay? That's where it's gonna, the bulb itself is gonna go in here to lock in place. And you can see that these entries are parallel, so up and down. You can see that? If you look at the other side as well, 
in your headlight. I'm not sure if that's visible, but you'll be able, you'll be able to see also where the actual port stops and it starts. Okay, you can see the. I'll stick my finger in here just so I can show you. But you want this this little opening here, the square. You want to make sure it's pretty much close to 12 and 6 o'clock. So when you, st when you turn in your bulb in here, when you put your bulb and twist it, it'll lock in place, it'll stay in position, okay? So I'll show you now. You want to make sure that when the bulb is finally installed, it's in this position, okay? So if you're looking at it, it'll look like this. So we're gonna put it in here. Okay, cool. So the bulb is locked in place and you can see in there, Okay, you wanna have it in that position once it's properly installed, okay? So at this point, you can put everything back in and test. So install your indicator back in, turn signal. Also remember our turn signals, they're polarity sensitive. So if they're, not correct, if they're not in the position they're supposed to, they won't light up. Simply disconnect, flip it over, reconnect it again, and that should fix your issue, okay? So since these are the LS, our brightest kits, they do have an external driver. So I would recommend that it's not just dangling everywhere. Uh, if you can find a spot where you can just like zip tie it down to or double side tape to, uh, this is not a resistor. So don't think this is gonna get super hot. It doesn't, it does get hot enough to where like, it'll be uncomfortable but it's not to the point where it can cause any serious damage, okay? So for now, this customer wants us to leave it like this because he's gonna figure out where he wants to put it because I guess he's gonna uh, replace something else inside here. So we're just gonna tuck it right here in between the, the fender. You see this opening right here? There's an opening between the fender and the frame. We're just gonna tuck it in there and it's just pretty much gonna hang down. All right, so at this point, line everything back up. There you have it. The lights back in its place. Make sure you put all your screws back on. It's a total of four to hold down the headlight. There'll be one right here, two on the side. Okay, there'll be two on the side. There'll be one, two, and then there's gonna be one more down here. Okay, so we're gonna light them up real quick for you. And if you can get a comparison real quick with the other side where it's still stock. So it's stock halogen, uh, headlight bulb, and turn signal. And if you look at the wall real quick, we can see the light projection. You can see that the LED gives you a better spread and also a more uh, noticeable hot spot so that means that it's going to be going further still right now we're really close maybe about 10 feet distance from the wall and you can see it's a really big a big uh, hot spot compared to the halogen so once you shoot these onto the actual street you're going to get a pretty a pretty nice distance okay so that's your little beam right there this is your high beam this is your low beam so that's pretty much it. We're gonna finish installing everything and show you the final results with both sides completed, okay? All right guys, so as you can see, we completed the whole installation. We got the fog lights in the bottom with the LAH10s. Uh, if you could do the low beams. There you have it, we do high beam. There you go. Okay, so when the high beams are active, it'll actually turn off the fog lights. When it goes back to low beam, if the fog lights will come back on. And if you can do turn signals, there you go. Again, these are the T3157s, uh, Ambers, in standard socket. Do not get the CK model, okay? Again, guys, uh, warning, 
please don't do what we did. Uh, customer was in a rush and he really wanted these lights. So he, he gave us the, the, the authorization for us to work the, with the vehicle the way it was. But normally I really recommend take your time, remove the actual grill, saves you a lot of headaches, you won't break anything. Uh, but if you want to do it that way, you can also do it, it'll save you time, but just be very careful. Okay, so we just gonna show you the wall uh, pattern real quick. That's your high beam, low beam. High beam, low beam. So there you have it guys, that's pretty much it. It's actually a pretty quick installation of this type of vehicle. Just take your time with it and you'll get it done. Um, if you happen to have any di pattern different than this, so if you were active in your high beams, it actually goes down instead of going up like you saw in the video, uh, then that means the bulb is installed upside down. So all you gotta do is just remove just the bulb unit itself, leave the adapter in place, don't twist that, just twist the actual uh, bulb itself and it'll pop out. It doesn't take too much, just a maybe quarter turn and it'll pop out. And just flip it completely to the other side, so like a 360 degree, not even 360, 180 and reinstall it again and that should fix your issue okay in case it still doesn't fix it at that point just give us a call uh, hit us up on our lastfit.com webpage uh, or our facebook and we'll help you out with that but thank you guys for watching that pretty much does it for us again this was a 2015 f350 super duty lariat and we'll catch you in the next video